Hey, how's it going? Hey, good, how are you? What do we got here? Got a 44 Russian. Okay, normally it's supposed to be the money inside the bag and the gun outside the bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, can I pick it up? Please. Smith & Wesson, Springfield, Mass, Russian model. Um, did they make this for Russia? No, I don't know the entire history, but they call it a Russian 44. I think it's a precursor to the, you know, 44 Magnum. Okay, uh, that I don't know about. The Russian thing's kind of weird, but, like, I love the gun. We got nickel-plated, uh, it's got gold wash on it, and the engraving's great, ivory handles, um, really cool gun. Everything about the old Remingtons are great. It's super easy to load. These are still really highly collectible, and this one's really cool because it was probably special ordered from the factory or something, I imagine. I don't know, someone could have brought it back from Russia and then done all this, I'm not sure. The Russian model sort of is throwing me off. Right. Um, it, it's an absolute beautiful gun. I mean, where did you get it? Back in the, the late 90s, I was in the military, and you know I bought it from a pawn shop years and years ago. Have, have you ever been able to buy or source bullets for it or anything? Or? Well, I, I was actually, I haven't shot it. Um, I'm actually kind of reluctant to do that, you know, for fear of maybe damaging it. Well, if it if it's actually is a Russian gun, it's probably got some weird ammo. How much did you want for it? I'm looking for about 10,000. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm kind of a loss. It's the whole Russian thing. One thing about, like, American cowboy guns in this time period, mm -hmm. the greater the story, the more the money. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this thing went to the Tsar of Russia and all, you know, Fabergé did all the engraving. I don't exactly <laughs> think that happened. But uh, my buddy Alex, he's been my gun guy forever. He knows everything okay. there is to know about all this old stuff. He's actually here helping me out. Oh, great. If I can go find him, he'll probably nerd out for an hour. <laughs> okay. That's okay. All right. Right back, guys. Hey, what's up, Alex? Hey, how are you, Corey? Hey, Todd. Alex, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The Russian anomaly. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a fancy gun. <laughs> Can I pick it up? Please, please do. So this is a Smith & Wesson Model 3 44 Russian. In 1870, the military attaché from Russia went to Smith & Wesson and said that they would like to order a whole bunch of these revolvers for their military. But the thing is that the attaché didn't like the 44 Smith & Wesson round. The reason he didn't like the Smith & Wesson round is it was externally lubricated and it would get a bunch of debris and foul. Oh. So Smith & Wesson went back to the drawing board and developed a round specifically for the Russian army. Oh, wow. And it wound up being much more successful and it was more accurate. Okay. They shipped all those revolvers to Russia, about 130,000, but it became super popular in the United States. So Smith & Wesson started making these for the domestic market. And the 44 Russian became the 44 Special, which then later on became the 44 Magnum. The other thing is, like, this is, this is a very atypical Model 3. One, it's engraved. Okay. Two, it's nickel plated. Three, you can see the, the remnants of gold plating or gold gilding oh. on, the, on the cylinder. And then these are ivory grips. Smith & Wesson didn't do any of that, though it was probably a special order. Okay. Do you have any questions? What's it worth? Does it work? Well, I would say it's, it's, it's worth a lot more than a normal Model 3, and it's super desirable because of all these changes to it that are period changes. This isn't done, this wasn't done any time recently. This was done in the 1870s. Have you ever tried to shoot it? No, I was actually afraid to. The 44 Russian ammo is still available. Okay. I have some. Okay. I, I like to show Rick that things can work. Is it something you'd be open to, uh, to That'd go to the great. rain? Okay. So, I mean, could you check the whole thing out, make sure it's not going to blow up? Maybe we could meet you at the end of the day at the gun range? Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys at the end of the day at the range. Great. Great. Sounds good. Great. There's a lot to look at out here. What's up, Alex? All right, we ready to shoot this thing? Uh, we are ready to shoot it, but before that, I have a surprise. Okay. I'm supposed to put these on? Yeah, you got to put them on like a cowboy would wear it, around your neck. You know, yeah, there you go. Keep oh. the dust out of your eyes. The cowboy theme's important because we're in Texas, Fort Worth, and for targets, I did cowboy hats. Under one of the cowboy hats is a special surprise, and if I hit it, you'll know what the surprise is. All right, so you're gonna see if it works. It, it looks very solid. It, it is about as mechanically perfect as you could have for a gun made in 1874. All right, let's load this thing up and get it done. All right, let's do it. Eyes and ears. Here we go. Bye-bye, cowboy hats. 
Everybody likes an exploding cowboy hat. The exploding cowboy hat was amazing. Best surprise in a long time. Thank you. OK. Fired great. No problems. Uh, it's a really nice firearm. So what do you think it's worth? I think it's worth $8,000. I uh, really do. OK. Um, less than he thought it was worth. Yeah, a bit less, but it's a really nice firearm. Typically, you see Model 3s go for way less than that, but it's such a cool piece of, I would say, cowboy history. Sweet. I'll let you know if I get it. Awesome. Good luck. See you, man. Thank you for letting Great. me fire it. Thanks, sir. Good luck. Appreciate it, Al. All right, so you're not going to get 10 grand. <laughs> OK. So I'll give you 5,000 for it. I'm not getting rich off you. Right. 5,000 is a fair price. Can we go up to uh, 6,500? I'll go 55, because anything past that don't make any sense. Can you go 57? No, 5,500 bucks. Right. Sweet. We got a deal. Um, I'll get you paid. OK. We'll get it all figured out. And um, it's been amazing. Thanks Great. for the deal, Ben. Yeah, thanks so much. Appreciate Thank it. Here. All right. Have a good day, Ben. You like the cowboy attire? You have a cowboy attire. You have a cabbie hat on. It's not a cabbie hat. It's, a, it's called a flat top. It's a cabbie hat.